Intensive means properties that are within like the atom. Mm -hmm. Extensive means like outside influences. So like intensive would be things like color, density, melting point, conductivity. So what would be an example? These are all examples. So these are all things that it doesn't matter how much of the substance that you have, it will be the same for every substance. Let's say that you have a one gram sample of gold compared to a hundred gram sample of gold. So it's going to look the same. The color is the same. Okay, the color is the same. The density is the same. The melting point is the same. It's going to take the same Mm -hmm. temperature. Okay, conductivity is going to be the same. What's conductivity? The ability to conduct electricity or heat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Extensive properties are the things that are changed by the outside influence, like the amount. So mass. Mass is going to be an extensive property. Here we see that there's a difference between mass, length. Let's say that this was one centimeter cubed and that this density, is one meter cubed. The density though, that's the mass of a volume. The density for intensive. Yeah. Mass over volume, right? It's going to be mass over volume. That's always going to be the same. centimeter is going to equal, wait, it would be 10 to the 6 grams over for one meter cube. There we go. Okay. So these two, the density is still the same. Okay. One gram over one centimeter cubed is the same as a million grams over one meter cubed. Okay, mass, length, volume. See, these things differ with the amount that you have. These things do not. These that, things differ? Yeah, that's what's the difference between intensive and extensive properties. Like when you were telling me about like the punches, you have like a big, like a strong guy punching and then... No, that has to do with kinetic energy. Okay. Ooh.